Now that you know the basics of our autonomic nervous system, let's talk about how our primitive nervous system adapts to situations in our modern world. So as you remember from the last video, when the caveman was in a stressful situation, his sympathetic nervous system kicked in, immobilized energy to his arms and legs so he could run away, and also increased his heart rate. When he was in a safe place and no longer under stress, he was able to breathe easier and his parasympathetic nervous system kicked in. This decreased his heart rate and took the energy from his limbs and put it back into his abdomen, which allowed him to digest his food in an optimal way. Now, in our modern world, we're fortunate that we don't have to run away from tigers. We don't have to hunt for our food, right? But there are a lot more challenges that we deal with on an everyday basis, specifically situations that can be very stressful. So while we don't run away from tigers, our body really can't tell the difference if we need to fight for our life or if we're having a difficult day at work, right? Some things that could trigger this sympathetic nervous system in our everyday life could be constantly running late. It could be getting in a fight with a coworker or a family member. It could be having a very stressful job. It also could be having too much stimulation in the form of electronics, um, specifically video games, can really stimulate this fight or flight nervous system. Now, in our daily lives, also if we're drinking a lot of caffeinated beverages, that could trigger our stress response. And over time, our bodies tend to run in this fight or flight mode and we might not even realize it. It's very common to be so stressed out all the time in our modern world that you don't even know you're stressed anymore, right? This is just your baseline. And if you're constantly firing this sympathetic nervous system, all of the energy gets taken away from your digestion and it gets mobilized into your arms and legs. This is because your body is preparing to either run or to fight. Now, if this happens every once in a while, it's not a big deal. But when it's happening day after day after day, and it turns into weeks and months on end of being in this very stressful state, that's when we begin to have issues. And it can cause an increased heart rate as well as anxiety. It can also lead to poor sleep and trouble with digesting your foods. It also might leave you feeling very low energy, but also not being able to get restful sleep. Now, there aren't really a lot of opportunities for us in our daily world to trigger the parasympathetic response. Think about this. People are always going and on to the next thing. We're surrounded by our electronics and let's face it, we have things that need to get done. We have responsibilities at work and at home. So we don't shift into this parasympathetic rest and digest response from our nervous system as often as we need to be. Now, through breath training, you can actually send a signal to your body saying that you're safe. And this triggers the parasympathetic nervous system to kick in. When we can signal the parasympathetic nervous system to turn on, we can decrease our heart rate and we can increase our digestive capacity. Over time, through stimulating the rest and digest nervous system, we can get better sleep and decrease anxiety. I'm going to show you in the next video how the breath can really be used as a tool
to shift our body into more of a rest and digest state through triggering the parasympathetic nervous system. Stick around. See you in the next video.